few more puddles coming our way the next uh, couple of days. Had some rain overnight and some showers this morning. They are lifting out. We're getting some drier air coming in. I do expect a little more sunshine, but there's still enough instability. You can see some showers off to the west of us. And, eh, keep the umbrella handy. I think most of the time you're not going to need it. And the, the showers and thunder showers, I think, will be spotty. Most, I think, will be north of the turnpike. You can see how they're tracking through parts of uh, Perry and Mifflin counties and then in through Dauphin and uh, Lebanon counties. Temperatures starting to respond back up near 70 in Chambersburg, mid to upper 60s elsewhere. Lebanon, though, at 61 degrees. You can see a few showers passing north up near Jonestown, up near Pine Grove, up into Schuylkill County. A rather cloudy sky over the Lebanon Valley at this hour. And with that cloudy sky, it's 61, uh, the dew point's the same, so the air's pretty saturated. But here's the key to the afternoon, that westerly wind, it tends to come down the mountains and dry things out. And I think that should give us some breaks of sunshine as we go through the afternoon, get us back in the low, maybe some neighborhoods toward the Mason-Dixon line, out around Chambersburg, Gettysburg maybe, you can get up in the mid 70s. I can't rule out that thunder shower, but again, they're going to be pretty isolated. They'll start dying out and we'll start to clear it out overnight tonight. A little breezy, a little cooler too, 40s to near 50 overnight. And then mostly sunny tomorrow, but clouds will increase during the afternoon. Pretty mild afternoon though. We'll be in the mid to upper 60s, still above average and warmer than we should be. 66 was yesterday's top number and about a quarter of an inch up to midnight, a little more since then. I'll have more of those amounts coming up tonight starting at 4 o'clock. But in the meantime, here are the river stages. Good news, uh, it's forecasted at Harrisburg to get up to 10 and a half feet. No flooding forecasted. We are going to get some more rain, but uh, that won't come until about Friday, that, uh, that crest at Harrisburg. One area of rain, well, here's last night's rain, next rain, next rain. It's all pinwheeling around an area of low pressure that's moving off to the north of us. And a weak area of high pressure will build in, a weak cool front, but it won't cool us down a lot. Start with sun tomorrow, but here come the clouds. Here comes another rainmaker coming out of the southwest. It looks like more rain. And the key to Thursday's forecast is how much of this warm air gets farther north. Farther north it gets, better chance we have it even some heavier thunderstorms. Right now, I think it's going to stay kind of in between. 70s this afternoon. Then we'll see those numbers drop a little bit. And tomorrow we recover. But it looks like, again, that cool air starts. How much of the warm air gets in on Thursday? We'll try and keep an eye on that. In the meantime, rainfall again, and it looks like through Thursday we could get another pretty good soaking. That's why we're keeping an eye on the streams and the creeks. Nice day tomorrow, but then the rain comes back in. Could be some thunderstorms on Thursday too. Uh, still some showers around, and I'm telling you, Susan, by Thursday or Friday and Saturday, you're going to notice a difference. It's going to be a little bit of a chill in the air, but it doesn't last long. I think we're back up near 70, maybe by Monday, certainly parts of next week. Next week, looking real spring-like. All right. That's, that's good, good news and it's bad news. It, it feels good, but I'm eventually going to have to start doing some of that yard work. Yeah, right. Uh, Get out the rake. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Joe. Coming up, scammers.